How's it going, everyone? It's Frankie Martinez back at you with another video. I just came back from the Cal Berkeley Elite Hammer Clinic. One of the clinicians there was Cameron Rogers, and I interviewed her and asked her what she does for competition anxiety. I have an athlete that suffers from competition anxiety, and I wanted to help her out. These are her answers. Also, like, a couple questions. Yeah. All right, so what's helped you the, to most control your anxiety in competition? Ooh, first of all, First off, hey, what's up? Um, <laughs> and then, okay, for me personally, I realize I need anxiety to grow. So that's like one of the biggest things that I realized my freshman year was that I love fear. I love anxiety. I love pressure, which sounds really scary. But for me, that's when I always perform my best. I love high stress situations. And for me, it's never been about eradicating that anxiety it's been just about knowing when to like let it free almost like when you're giving a car gas like gas and brake know when you need to like give yourself a little bit more like let yourself feel that fear because for me i think when i was like my first year of throwing someone told me if you're nervous that's good it's okay it means you respect what you're doing and you're respecting other people out there with you beautiful do you do anything maybe pre-ritual or in the ring that allows you to like control the chaos or help you with the chaos that you got going on? So one of the biggest things we focus on in practice is consistency. Mm -hmm. And so with that, I try to do the same thing every single throw. That means this, I walk into the cage the same way, I sit up the same way, I have the same lines, nothing changes. Because you don't want to be relying on... It sounds kind of crazy to say. You don't want to be relying on luck when it comes to competition. You want to have practiced everything to a T, so you know exactly what you're doing. You can't control what anybody else out there does, but you can control what you do. And that's the most important part. And you want to be as prepared as possible for when that time comes, when you're in there, in the ring, and when it counts most. Cool. Do you have any maybe lasting last message that you want to leave her? She's also international, by Is the way. Is she? Yeah. Where are you Aust from? She? Uh, she's from Austria. Austria? Austria. Austria. Okay. Yeah. That's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, man. Enjoy your time. Like enjoy every moment, have a really solid support system, and oh my gosh, I've learned so much being here from everybody that I've trained with, from Coach Mo, from, from everything. I feel like every day I learn something new, and so take every moment, appreciate every moment, and it takes time. Like throwing takes time, like it's all a huge process, like a developing process, and you gotta be patient with yourself and just stick with it. Because yeah. it's so rewarding at the end of the day. And it's awesome to have a really great community all over the world. Sure. And uh, if you ever find yourself in Vancouver, Canada, let me know. <laughs> I give a very, very good tour. Yeah, there you go. Awesome, thank you. I just wanted to cap off the interview with acknowledging that Rudy Winkler and Alex Young were also at the Hammer Clinic and all said similar things about anxiety and just being in a competition setting. So using that anxiety and nervousness just to apply it into the technique that you're trying to accomplish, and it's all going to come out well. This is Coach Frankie Martinez. Make sure you guys check me out next time. See you guys.